Question number 281. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure Cognitive Service for Language Resource. You need to identify the URL of the REST interface for the language service. Which blade should you use in the Azure portal? Option A. Identity. Option B. Keys and Endpoint. Option C. Networking. Option D. Properties. Correct answer is Option B. Keys and Endpoint. To identify the URL of the REST interface for the Azure Cognitive Service for Language, you should use the Keys and Endpoint blade in the Azure portal. This blade provides both the endpoint URL and the subscription keys needed to access the REST APIs. Question number 282. You develop a conversational language understanding model by using Language Studio. During testing, you just receive incorrect responses to requests that do not relate to the capabilities of the model. You need to ensure that the model identifies spurious request. What should you do? Option A. Enable active learning. Option B. Add entities. Option C. Add examples to the known intent. Option D. Add examples to the custom intents. The correct answer is Option C. Add examples to the non-intent. The non-intent is used to capture irrelevant or out-of-scope user inputs. By adding examples of spurious or unrelated requests to the non-intent, the model can learn to distinguish between valid and irrelevant inputs, improving its ability to handle unexpected queries correctly. Question number 283. You have a chatbot. You need to ensure that the bot conversation resets if a user fails to respond for 10 minutes. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A Option B Option C Option D The correct answer is Option B It is the method used to send the message to the user in the bot framework. In this context, it will be used to send the message, Welcome back. Let's start over from the beginning. Question number 284. You have a chatbot. You need to ensure that the bot conversation reset if a user fails to respond for 10 minutes. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A Option B Option C Option D The correct answer is Option A it is used to reset the state associated with the current conversation, effectively clearing any stored data and allowing the conversation to start over from the beginning. Question number 285. You are building a chatbot. You need to configure the chatbot to query a knowledge base. Which dialog class should you use? Option A, Q&A Maker Dialog. 
Option B, Adaptive Dialogue. Option C, Skill Dialogue. Option D, Component Dialogue. The correct answer is Option A, Q&A Maker Dialogue. It is specifically designed to integrate with the Q&A Maker service, which is used to create and query knowledge bases. This dialog class provides the necessary functionality to query a knowledge base and return answers based on the user's questions. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 286. You are building a call handling system that will receive calls from French speaking and German speaking callers. The system must perform the following task. Capture inbound voice messages as text. Which Azure Cognitive Services service should you use? Option A. Speaker Recognition Option B. Speech to Text Option C. Text to Speech Option D. Translator The correct answer is Option B. Speech to Text the speech-to-text service in Azure Cognitive Services converts spoken language into written text. It supports multiple languages, including French and German, making it ideal for capturing inbound voice messages as text in a multilingual call handling system. Question number 287 you are building a call handling system that will receive calls from French speaking and German speaking callers. The system must perform the following task. Replay messages in English on demand. Which Azure Cognitive Services service should you use? Option A. Speech to text only. Option B, speech to text and language. Option C, speaker recognition and language. Option D, text to speech and language. Option E, text to speech and translator. The correct answer is Option E, text to speech and translator. To replay messages in English, the system must first translate the original French or German text into English using translator, and then use text-to-speech to convert the translated English text into audible speech. This combination enables multilingual voice message replay in English. Question number 288 you are building a chatbot. You need to configure the bot to guide users through a product setup process. Which type of dialogue should you use? Option A. Component Option B. Action Option C. Waterfall Option D. Adaptive the correct answer is Option C. Waterfall A waterfall dialog is ideal for guiding users through a multi-setup process like product setup. It allows you to break down the interaction into sequential steps where each step can prompt the user and pass data to the next step, making the conversation structured and 
easy to manage. Question number 289. You are building a customer support chatbot. You need to configure the bot to identify the following. Code names for internal product development. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure Cognitive Service for language feature should you use for the above requirement? Option A, Custom Named Entity Recognition, NER. Option B, Key Phrase Extraction. Option C, Language Detection. Option D, Named Entity Recognition, NER. Option E, Personally Identifiable Information. PII detection. Option F sentiment analysis. The correct answer is option A custom named entity recognition NER. You identify specific internal product code names that are not commonly known entities. You need custom named Entity Recognition This allows you to train a model to recognize unique, domain-specific terms like internal code names, which are not covered by pre-built NER models. This approach minimizes development effort while ensuring accurate entity extraction. Question number 290 you are building a customer support chatbot. You need to configure the bot to identify the following. Messages that include credit card numbers. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure Cognitive Service for Language feature should you use for the above requirement? Option A. Custom Named Entity Recognition NER Option B E Phrase Extraction Option C Language Detection Option D Named Entity Recognition NER Option E Personally Identifiable Information PII Detection Option F, Sentiment Analysis. The correct answer is Option E, Personally Identifiable Information, PII Detection. To detect sensitive data like credit card numbers in user messages with minimal development effort, PII Detection is the ideal feature it is a pre-built capability in Azure Cognitive Service for language that automatically identifies and classifies personal and sensitive information such as credit card numbers, phone numbers, and more.